Buy now, pay later. In hospitals. Let's have a look. Hello everyone, Florian Heiser here and welcome to another episode of Heiser Says. Grab your stein of coffee. Let's have a look at this one from Yahoo Finance discussing pay later services trialed at hospitals. Now this is an interesting one. We're seeing the buy now pay later sector growing more and more. And if this can avoid people having to take loans or having to um, put on their credit card for elective surgery, is it necessarily a bad thing? I know you may instantly listen to it. Oh, it sounds terrible. But I mean, medical professionals need to get paid for their expertise. That goes without saying. So paying for elective surgery using a buy now pay later service is being trialed by a major healthcare provider and technology group, OpenPay. OpenPay, an Australian company with which targets industry groups, on Monday claimed it was the first company of its kind, kind to sign a hospital operator after St. John's of God Healthcare agreed to trial its service. The Catholic healthcare provider, which runs hospitals in New South Wales, Victoria and Western Australia, is allowing patients to pay for elective surgery through installments via OpenPay. Two hospitals in Perth, St. John of God, Murdoch, and Mount uh, Lawley, and one in Melbourne, St. John of God, Berwick, are the initial facilities to offer the payment services. Patients are being offered payment plans ranging from 2 to 12 months during the six-month trial. The healthcare provider's chief operating officer for hospitals, Brian Payne, said staff still encourage people to bribe private health insurance, but recognized some chose not to be covered. He said the open pay arrangement allowed patients who chose not to have private health insurance to minimize the burden of a lump sum payment. Open pay boss Michael Idle said the deal followed the company's work with healthcare providers in optometry, dentistry, and audiology. Buy now pay data providers have mostly targeted fashion conscious young adults, I'd say women, spurking access to their service at clothing retailers. The services have proved popular with younger people as they are perceived as easier to access rather than the scrutiny that many may come with applying for a credit card. Many providers, including OpenPlay, do not charge interest, but instead late fees for missed payments. Most providers also charge a fee to the business as part of the sale. The shares were down $1.52 to $2.60 Australian Eastern Day Time. So there we have it, everyone. OpenPay. Let's have a look. We've got a trading view. Let's have a look at how OpenPay is going on the markets now. Because I've got no issue with this in the slightest. The market is providing an opportunity for people who want to have this elective surgery. Maybe you're sick and tired of waiting for the public health system to take care of you and you just pay the money there. And at 12 months, interest-free, why not? Why not? People can manage it. I mean, here we go. Technicals are telling us to sell. Let's look at the ideas that people are putting us here. We can see here it's sitting at $2.60. Technical, strong sell, sell and sell. The idea is trade plan going long. Is this all we have? Long, 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 long. Everyone is long with the trade ideas. What do we have here? Can we play this? Stop loss at $1.90. Yeah, there you go. So what do you reckon, guys? Do you think this is a good idea or a bad idea? The market provides. I would rather people are using it for this type of thing than for bloody clothes and handbags. Maybe that's just my bias. Have you invested in OpenPay? What do you think about it? As always, thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. If you're a fan and enjoy the content I create here, there are a few ways you can support us. You can join us on YouTube or Patreon. You can support us using our affiliate links from Amazon, eBay, Independent Reserve, or Aussie Broadband. You can buy merch from Heiser Says, use Gold Pass from the Perth Mint, or support us via PayPal. Take care. I'll see you next time. Bye for now.